This segment is sponsored by Tomiko L. Evans Foundation. With the help of the Cleveland Clinic, the Tomiko L. Evans Foundation is actively trying to create solutions to eradicate or stabilize all stages of breast cancers. Here to tell us more is someone with a personal connection. Welcome, Ray. Ray, first of all, we are so sorry. And can you tell us some more about Tomiko so we can get to know her? Yeah, sure. Uh, Tomiko, um, she was, she's a very selfless uh, woman and uh, one of the few individuals that uh, uh, kind of made everybody better when you're around her. And uh, just a quick story in regards to when she was diagnosed um, uh, with stage four breast cancer in uh, July of 2013. Her only goal at that time was to live long enough to see our youngest son graduate, and that would be May of 2015. So she had to get chemo every week, every Friday. Uh, so she knew uh, she got the chemo, she volunteered for it because she knew it wasn't gonna save her life, but she knew it, it had a possibility to extend it. So she actually did, uh, get, did get to see him graduate and she passed away seven months um, after, uh, after you know watching him walk across the stage. So. But she sounds like a strong, amazing woman. And, you know, you did mention that, yes, she had developed breast cancer. And you realized that her needs and others of African-American women were different and they weren't being met, correct? You know, I started researching black women and breast cancer. Then I started finding out all these uh, details regarding that uh, black women die three times more than mm -hmm. white women. And actually, their uh, demographic has a higher death rate than any other demographic. 90% of the, the breast cancer research uh, and clinical tri trials even today are geared towards white women. So, um, and you know, this, these uh, statistics have been known for over a decade. Mm -hmm. And like my primary focus is to shed light on like the underserved population and make them a priority. Uh, and my ultimate goal is to, you know, basically eliminate the disparities. Yeah. So you started a foundation in her name and you've also paired up with the Cleveland Clinic. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I started the, uh, the foundation in her name just to honor her and, and actually to help us with the grieving process because her children, she, you know, she was all about her children, grandchildren. And I thought uh, with doing this, it would honor and, and keep her memory alive. And, and, and honestly, to keep uh, keep her close to us, because I think we all needed it. It was, uh, she was just uh, kind of like the nucleus of the family. So, when, you know, when we lost her, it, uh, it was devastating. Mm. As far as the Cleveland Clinic, we teamed up and we found out that they had a community, community outreach program that actually would take 3D uh, mammogram mobile units into uh, underserved neighborhoods throughout the state of Ohio. So we donate money to them so that we can help with uh, servicing those underserved women so they can actually uh, get a free mammogram. And I think, you know, the prevention is key. Uh, early detection is, you know, real basically the key to uh, key factor to uh, breast cancer outcomes. What are you doing now to benefit the community? You have something going on right now on behalf of your foundation? Yes, uh, we team with the uh, City of uh, Recreation and Parks to help uh, with their annual, they have a, a Thanksgiving celebration every year. Uh, so uh, we'll, we teamed up to give about 50 turkeys to families and also to feed uh, 250 individuals. Uh, so they have pre-cooked, uh, kind of like pre-made, I should say, uh, meals that we're going to give out. And uh, and I, I, it's kind of touching for me because uh, it's, it's going to take place at the Barrick Recreation Center. And I actually uh, grew up in, in, in that side of uh, town. South side of Columbus, uh, mm -hmm. graduated from Columbus South High School. And um, so it's a, it's a special treat for me so I can give back basically to where I grew up. Well, Ray, I know you're Ray. making Tomiko very, very proud of you. Where can people go for more information about the foundation? Okay, we have a website. It's www.tomikolevansfoundation.org. Uh, org. All right, Ray, thank you so much. And again, our condolences, and, and we hope that uh, everything you're doing has such an incredible outcome for our, for our community. Thank you. Well, thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. And for more information, visit Tomiko L. Evans, foundation.org.